the sense of joy we saw from the first day the kids walked in the building. I remember their faces, their excitement. They're like, wow, we get to go here. We believe that as architects, we have the capacity to have a positive impact in people's lives. Our school has been around for over 100 years. Prior to renovations, we were an open today school. It was loud, it was noisy, and quite frankly, it just wasn't meeting the needs of those, those students. One of the, the fundamental questions at our practice is how do we want to educate? How do we want to educate now? How do we want to educate in the future? When we first started designing John Lewis, DC had just started to go down the pathway of its climate action plan. So it's trying to make significant progress to reducing the greenhouse gas emissions that DC is emitting. There was definitely a thought of like the childhood imagination and their curiosity and their need to explore. They can choose a variety of different settings and really have the agency to empower themselves within this learning environment. Something that I felt about being in the school is that I felt really like special because the school is like amazing. One of the most unique things about our building is that our classrooms have garage doors. They open up and then it feels like there's a big community, there's like you're gathering and like sometimes we even have classes together, like there's no separations or anything. Those garage doors and those clusters of classrooms now could change throughout the day and really accommodate the way people are teaching and learning, whereas the old building didn't allow for that level of control. When you come into the building, you see this dashboard and it has all of the data for the school building at a glance. Our practice area developed this concept called net positive education. Whatever we do in the design, we try to make sure that it gets implemented into the educational curriculum. My kids would come in on a Monday and they'd go, hmm, wonder if the energy consumption was up on Saturday. And they would go and look at the energy chart and go, ooh, they left the light on in the blue wing. The fact that my students, who are 10-year-olds, had access to that data and could meaningfully make relations with it and meaning of it, we're really trying to encourage a future generation of environmental stewards and connecting them with nature and at any point we can and reminding them of their place in this world and their role that they have to play in that can be really important. Being able to zoom into a strategy such as daylight that not only helps us from an energy perspective, it also contributes to a better well-being of our occupants and to their performance within the space. The lights and the brightness in our building really, really contributes to the mental health of our students and our staff. It is really, really hard to feel down in this building. There are no dark spaces. My favorite spot in the building would probably be the big windows they have, because you get to see the outside. Teachers coming in, even though you're tired, you know, you look at this beautiful building and all this natural light, and you're like, man, it's a great day to teach. As a member of the school-wide improvement team, we wanted to ensure that teachers had a say in how this building needed to reflect the community and our need to bring community members together. If you were to look at the facade of the building, you could see that each classroom is sort of broken up into a series of small-scale bays, making it feel more like a collection of row houses, so echoing the houses that are across the street on both sides of the building. Our architecture, you know, through actions like this, become very truly of their place, you know, both of the diverse community that we're set in, but also the ecological system that the building is striving to, to become one with. They were achieving at a very high level in their previous building in spite of the building that they were in. And, and now I think about uh, what is possible for them, right? When, when now they're given these resources, you know, where will they go? The experiences I've had at John Lewis helped me be more confident and more open-minded. I think that that level of deliberate thinking and consideration of all diverse perspectives is really what set this project apart from anything I think will ever be out there.